Time for a look at a wow, what a weekend. Uh, by the way, mm -mm Monday uh, is what are you calling it now? Well, T just for this one time, we're postponing it for the foster cover. So it'll be, I guess, t Tasty, Tuesday Tasty Tuesday tomorrow. Okay, so if, cool. if you're salivating, we'll make sure that that gets uh, dealt with for you t tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. A good food at the Miracle concert, by mm -hmm. the way, and uh, that's what we are starting things with. Uh, more of CTV's exclusive footage from the David Foster Miracle concert and more with the hitman's famous friends uh, now offering some insight on being a successful performer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Foster. The hitman, surrounded by 6,000 fans, takes the stage and performs with an appreciative smile. Before he launched his all-star gala fundraising concert, David Foster and his wife Yolanda revealed the secret to their success. And, and always, you know, trying to be the best we can be. And, and every, I think I think we bring out the best in each other, you know. It's true. And every single thing that I'm passionate about, everything that I'm passionate about, Yolanda's passionate about too. Whether it be family or my foundation or my work. Um, and it, it just it's working perfectly. According to performer Kenny G, anybody can be successful with patience and practice. But I practice three hours a day, every day. You just have to work really hard for, a lot, for like a few decades, and then you got it. Sinbad performed a stand-up routine filled with local reference. I think when the cast a jazz musician, but you're kind of like a mental jazz musician. The one that you might have to institutionalize. That's where I see the world, man. The comedian was seated next to Pamela Anderson. While American Idol winner Ruben Studdard inspired the crowd to move, the Canadian tenors aimed for emotional high notes. You, you sort of leave the, the thought process and just get into the whole heart process. It, it, it's a magical experience. It, 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 we're getting chills as much as everyone else. Sarah McLaughlin compares singing on stage to a retro feeling. Do you remember the first time that you put your Sony Walkman on and you walked down the street to one of your favorite songs and you felt like you were in a music video when music videos were still really young and fresh? I think we're probably a similar age. Um, it kind of feels like this, like this groundswell behind you and underneath you and filling up all the space and it's really just it's magical. The final act of the night was Josh Groban, who says the most effective singers are storytellers. You find you find the story that, that you can relate to. I think that for me, I don't sing a song unless there's something that from the ground up I can relate to that I've been through. If I haven't written it, something that I feel I can emote. My favorite singers are the ones that can they can really get that message across. A story that Groban and the hitman finished telling with a choir from the Canadian College of Performing Arts and a thank you to their fans.